Hey guys. Hey guys. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you guys for checking out this video. In this video, we unfortunately have to go back to Albuquerque. Can't get away from Albuquerque. <laughs> it was a lot of ups and downs. So this was another another one of the bad weeks. <laughs> I was interviewed by the local newspaper uh, like a week ago or so. And it was actually pretty quick. We made the front page of the paper. <laughs> yeah, we did. That's awesome. So if you got the paper, thank you guys for checking it out. And uh, thank you guys also for checking out this video. We hope you guys enjoy it. Good morning, everybody. Today's Friday. I'm going to go wait for my sister to come over. I'm going to go ahead. Of, I'm going to head into Gallup. I got to pick up a few things from Mama Bear. And then uh, I'm going to head over to where she's at. And I'm going to hang out with her for the morning. And then my sister's going to pick me back up. And we have to go to Albuquerque so I can get these things taken out of my face. So hopefully it's quick and painless. And uh, we'll be back this evening. I'll take you guys along. My sister picked me up. We're headed into Gallup now. feeling too good uh, we're starting to have a lot of problems here so we're gonna get it figured out I gotta head out here to Albuquerque to get these splints taken out of my nose from the procedure with the arterial bleed over here to surgical specialties I'm gonna uh, get these taken out of my nose hopefully it's quick and painless <laughs> hopefully it's quick I never even got to show mama bear this horse she would love it I can finally breathe now they took those things out of my nose. They cut the stitches and pulled those plastic pieces out of there. Now, I can breathe through my nose and I probably sound normal again. So, we drove two hours out here. I checked in at 3.30 for my appointment at 4. They got to me at 5.20. So, we drove two hours. We waited two hours. It literally took them two minutes to cut the stitches, pull some plastic pieces out, I could have looked it up on YouTube. So now we're gonna get some grub and we're gonna drive two hours back to Gallup.
we got back from Albuquerque and we headed over to the care center where Mama Bear is at. And all evening she's been telling me about this problem with her not getting her meds and everybody coming in saying it wasn't their fault and it was somebody else's fault. And the admin came in and even said that she should not be denied her meds. But somehow it's somebody else's fault from the get-go with every one of these nurses there. And I finally got back and Mama Bear said she'd been telling him about this thing with her leg. And uh, they would leave the room and say they'll let somebody know. Well, I got back and I left the room too. And I went and found the right people. And now we are headed up to the emergency room because this is something that should have been taken care of a few hours ago. When she started mentioning it, like at 2 o'clock, to where it started becoming a really bad problem at 6 o'clock. And they waited until me and my sister got back from Albuquerque at 9.30. And now we're heading up to the yard. I don't know what they're gonna do, but we're probably gonna be up there all night. We'll see what's up. Yesterday, something developed on Pam's leg that was not good, so she was at the ER last night when I got back from Albuquerque. I noticed, so we had the ambulance come over and take her to the ER, and after they took some CT scans and some x-rays, her doctor over here talked it over with her doctor at UNM, and they decided that it'd be better if Pam just goes out to UNM and they can assess it out there. So, I came home to get some clothes, my mom took me out there, now she's going to drive me to Albuquerque, and Pam should be flying out here in a bit, and she'll be in Albuquerque before we even get there. We made it out here to UNM in Albuquerque and we're waiting on Pam. They flew out some more people from Gallup, so hopefully she's next in line, and then we'll know what's going on. We are still here in the garage, waiting for Pam. She should be flying in from that direction. But she's going to be on a plane, so she'll go to the airport, and then they'll bring her here. Been a pretty rough couple of days, but it's been a pretty rough week, and it's been a pretty rough month. And all that just turned into a pretty rough year, so I guess we just got to get through this week, every week, and we'll be all right. I finally got back here into the ER again, and Mama Bear made it. She made it over here just fine. Mm -hmm. She's resting right now. We're going to wait and see what they say. It's a little later in the afternoon. And we are here in Mama Bear's room in the ER. She's getting her necessary fluids. She's getting antibiotics. And there's a whole round of doctors that are coming in, from the nurses to the lab techs to the x-ray techs to her medical team and to her orthopedic team. Everybody's coming in, asking the questions, checking on her. So overall, it seems like everything is moving along pretty smooth. And it's getting close to the point where her dinner will be here. And uh, we're not sure how the hospital food is. Yeah. Ever. We well, know how the hospital food is. We know how the hospital food is. So I'm going to go run out and get Mama Bear something to eat here in a second. I have three IVs going right now. I have this one that's, that's here. This one's here. And then I have this one in here. And uh, earlier... I saw a couple of comments, uh, people asking why we we're vlogging something that's so personal and private. Um, however personal and private this is, we're not showing you guys the personal and private parts of it. We're showing you the parts that show the support that we give one another. And we're showing you guys the supports where Mama Bear's overcoming all this extreme hardship that she's going through right now. And it's the story of resilience and the story of rebirth and the story of strength. The story of unity and a relationship and a marriage. So we're not trying to show you guys things that we shouldn't show you. If anything, we're showing you how we're overcoming this whole situation together. 
on how we're being here for each other, 100%. I, the only day I left her hanging were the days I ended up in the ER when she was upstairs and yesterday. Yesterday I had to come out here to Albuquerque to get my splints taken out. And I got back to Gallup and I did not like what was going on there. So we had to get her to the ER, which led to here, but it's the right avenue for precautionary measures. Hopefully it's just a antibiotic situation and we should be good to go. But over the course of the night, we'll, we'll find that out based on how many of our doctors come in and what they have to say. But so far, everything seems okay. Mama Bear seems okay. Her pain's not hitting as hard as it is when we're in Gala. And it's not the town, it's just the lack of support in the town as far as medical health professionals. Um, she wasn't getting proper pain meds until we got to GIMC. So the Genesis facility, and I'm not saying this just to be that person, but the Genesis facility in Gallup, we heard a lot of bad things about Red Rocks Care Center, and we thought, okay, well, it's a Genesis facility. This should be different. It should be all right now. We got there, and every single thing that we have ever heard that was bad about that place hit us pretty hard. We were only there for one night, huh? Yeah. Two nights? One. One night, and the second night, she went to the ER. So everything that UNM had been working on with antibiotics and a steady pain med schedule. As soon as we left UNM, everybody was blaming on each other on whose fault it was that somebody dropped the ball and she had no meds for 24 hours. So when they stopped the antibiotics, everything flared up again. Thanks, Genesis. Thanks a lot. We're back at UNM and they're fixing it again. Like they did the last time when we went to the Genesis facility here in Albuquerque. It sucks that we don't have options for home care. We don't have options, like a lot of options for facilities. Every one of these facilities, everybody's saying things about them. I wish I could just take Mama Bear home and do all this for her at the house. I need a nursing degree. Yeah. What do you think, Mama? <laughs> It's doable. I'm good at school. School is just one of those things that I do. Got kind of windy out here. You can see back here there's all the dust blowing around. try to sleep on tonight. Mama Bear's been getting her pain meds and her antibiotics. She's comfortable enough to get some rest now. She's missed out on sleep for two days now. So we're gonna get some rest. Hey guys, today is Sunday. We didn't vlog a whole lot today. Not a whole lot going on. Although, for a bit, I took off to go rent a room. My mom and my sister got back into town, so we hit a Walmart, rent a room, washed up, changed my clothes, came back over here. So I'm hanging out with Mama Bear again for a bit. And her sister came to visit today, so that's pretty awesome. That made her feel pretty good. It's a little later in the afternoon, and uh, we're just hanging out. So I'll probably edit some video, and I don't know what else. But Mama Bear's doing okay. The doctors came in and said that there's nothing showing on scans and x-rays that they need to be worried about. So we're mostly okay. Hey guys. <laughs> See, Mama Bear's good. Pretty long day today. Mm -hmm. We didn't really do a whole lot, but it was a pretty long day today. Yeah. Um, I took off for a bit earlier. Mm -hmm. There's not a whole lot to do here. Mm -hmm. She's supposed to just rest and recuperate and 
finally feel better to pick up my phone. Text She's, people back. Today's so. the first day that I've actually like seen her able to do stuff without being in pain all day, without being in discomfort all day. So I'm glad she's resting and recuperating. And um, I'm supposed to be doing the same thing. So the doctors and nurses keep reminding me that I am not supposed to be doing anything. So being here and doing nothing is actually what I'm supposed to be doing, just watching Mama. And every day we worry about the boys, but we know her mom has got them. And we talk to them all the time. They call us whenever they want. They come out here at least once a week. So it's a lot easier to be here taking care of Mama and then having her mom take care of the boys rather than being there taking care of the boys and then worried about Mama's pain and her comfort and everything that I've been here advocating for her for because it seems different when she's in pain telling them she's in pain than when I'm over here telling them like, oh no, no, like yesterday she wasn't like this, two days ago she wasn't like this and it seems like they just believe it a little more, I don't know. But you're pretty good about it here though. <laughs> yeah. pretty good. It's just easier to be here and take care of her if I'm here with her. I don't know. I got a lot of stuff to do at the house, though. This coming week, I guess. Yeah, this coming week. It's later on in the evening, and even though it's like 95 degrees outside, it's pretty cold in here. So, today I was smart. Brought my sweater. We're starting to doze off, so we're gonna crash out here in a bit. We hope y'all had a wonderful Sunday. <laughs> good night, guys. We had a pretty good Sunday. Good night, guys. Morning, guys. Or afternoon. It's almost noon. Mama Bear is doing all right. I came out and got breakfast this morning. Went back and we've been hanging out. And um, Pam's mom showed up, so. It's only one visitor per patient in there in the ER. So her mom's into visiting with her right now. And I'm out here hanging out with these guys. This guy, this guy, and this guy. I finally get to hang out with them a bit. I gotta run over to uh, the MBD and the Department of Health to get my ID and a couple things fixed. So I'm gonna hang out with them for a bit. And then whenever they roll, I'm gonna roll. Then I'll come back with lunch for Mama Bear. Right now, uh, we're just hanging out. Going out to get lunch for Mama Bear. She's doing physical therapy. Mama Bear was moved to a hall bed. This is the accommodations now. It has deteriorated quite rapidly. So this is so the type of fort Jackson would build. So we're gonna hang out here for a little bit until they get her a room. But I got her some chili cheese fries. Actually, I got the, I took them. I told them no chili, and I found some fried zucchinis. She asked for a fruit bowl. I got all the other stuff for her. <laughs> so I'm gonna sleep in this chair again tonight. Luckily, Derek hooked me up with one of these. I used it the other night and it was pretty awesome. I'm gonna blow it up and use it again tonight. This is what it turns into when you blow some air into it and it's unfolded. And it fits on there like that and it makes a big difference after a couple of hours. It's almost midnight. I've tried sleeping. It is so freaking hard to sleep in this chair. This is where I'm at. I tried to use my shirt for a pillow, but when I put my hand back, it's way too high. This is how close the curtain is to me. I'm using my bag for like, what's the corner of the curtain, which is just right here. And uh, in front of me, this is where my shoes are. If I sit comfortably. And it's both poking out of the curtain into the hallway floor where people are going by through there 
then I had to fix this curtain. Kind of. I res rigged it. I tied that right there with the hair tie. But that straightened everything out and it actually gave Mama Bear some privacy. A little bit anyway. We definitely need to get you back into a room. Yeah. I guess they had a few traumas earlier and they needed the rooms down there and Mama Bear was the one that was in the best condition as far as she is only running one IV right now and she's moving back to oral pain medication so they don't have to administer that through an IV when the facilities couldn't even give her oral meds to begin with so we're making it a little easier we're trying to get her on oral antibiotics so we can take the pills ourselves and then we can administer them to her at the right time so tomorrow I think we have one more physical therapy so wait until the morning okay and Dr. Marion's going to come up and talk to her again and see if they can get her to an inpatient care facility before they try to send her back to one of the uh, skilled homes so I guess we'll see it's been a long day uh, we've got a lot of stuff done today and Mama Bear did on her own today so it's been a pretty long day and we moved from the room to the hallway <laughs> and we've been hearing all the crazy stuff here all night. Oh, up and down the hall, both ways, everywhere. You want to go that big blanket? It's really there? uncomfortable. I, have to stay here with I can't you wait to get her sure back to home. Yeah. Or I can't wait to get her back to the facility where we can start re kind of rehabbing that worrying about hospital Go stuff. In. So, Go all in, all in due time. Should be happening here pretty soon. Yeah. However it goes, though, I'm not leaving her side. I'm going to be with her 100% of the way. Mm -hmm. Have to be. I love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you, I love this chick so much. <laughs> yeah, I'm so okay. grateful that she is still here. I'm grateful baby. that you're still here, Baba Bear. Oh, baby. Yeah, you have to. I don't know what I would do without you. I don't know what I think about that. And we're still here for our boys. That's the main thing. That's what we're really happy about is that we're both here to teach our boys and raise them. Yeah. And live life with them. So that's what makes all this worth it. It's going to be worth it. Good night, you guys. I turned my chair to lean against the wall, so I'm going to be crashing out here in a bit, too. Alright, you guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for sticking around and checking it out. Thanks for watching, yep. guys. Thank you guys for all the continuous love and support you guys have been showing. We'll see you guys in the next video. Later. Peace.